Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Deliver Us Mars. So last we left off, we managed to find Ryan, which he's over here. See? Say hi everyone. Say hi to Ryan. He won't say hi to Bag because, well, he, he, he's not programmed to. <laughs> and why can't I get through this door? Yeah, I was, what I was trying to say was that, you know, last we left off, we just found him. Um, Sarah's taking a break. And, of course, we have to, you know, pull our weight and get things done for them. <laughs> but that's the life of an engineer. And seriously, why can't I get through? <laughs> Do I need to get in here with him? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I was just being stupid. Hey. Hey, we Sarah. Need to get this door. Oh. Oh. You okay? We had a really rough landing. Flared up a road injury. Ooh. I'm fine. Even that stab in the stomach. I said I'm fine. Uh, uh, we need to find some meds. Can you get the RP hooked up? On it. Let's see here. Space laser. <laughs> So, too much power. Still too much power. Oh. Let's do this. Splitter. I can split one MPT into two and reduce the power output with this. Should come in handy. Yeah, but why isn't it turning on? Am I missing something? Oh wait, do I need to hit it to get energy? Oh, how about that? Oh, I missed. Didn't I just come through there? No. Wait. Yeah, I just came through here, didn't I? Right? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm being stupid. <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely came through here. Okay, so let me go back. I thought it would lead somewhere else, because, you know, why why have two doors right next to each other like that? <laughs> okay, well. Oh, there's no power there. That's kind of annoying. Alright, let's move you and we'll put you right there. Seriously? Okay, well, I know the solution to this. There we go. Okay, why can't we set it down? Oh, hold on. There we go. Now... Oh! Well, look at that. to do this there we go <laughs> and 
that was uh, definitely an interesting puzzle. Alright. Ooh, it looks pretty outside. Big ass place. Oh, that's a lot of stairs. Don't they have an elevator? <laughs> I don't want to be climbing up and down those stairs. That's tiring. Damn! You seeing this? It's ginormous. Have you ever seen anything like this? I can't say that I have. Obviously, they're in awe, just as us. It is. Something out there? Oh, yeah, what is that? Well, whatever it is, it's important enough that they simply refer to it as the engine. Is it a singularity? <laughs> well, it's like situated in the middle of the bridge, too. It looks active. You think there's people up there? Only one way to find out. And that's gonna be us, obviously, going up there. Oh, there is another. Good. But something tells me it's not gonna mm. work. Elevators out. Called it. Ryan, are there any stream points on that map we can use to hook it up to the emergency power? Uh, yes. That's good news. Well, I've got some bad news too. The only point seems to be on the top floor. Yay. That is a, a road trip. Case. Going all the way over there. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. Sarah, are you able to. No, Sarah can't do it. At least you shouldn't. I guess that's a yes. Oh, good. We don't have to do it ourselves. It'll, the cutscene will take care of it. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, you need to take it easy. No, I need to... Look, look, the map said there's a medical wing on the way up. We're going to find you some painkillers, and then we're going to get that elevator back up and running. All right? Cat, how's this floor looking? Abandoned. Hmm. Just like the rest of the ship, I'm sure. I don't think we should separate. That's not a good idea. We don't have a choice. Yeah. All right. Right now, you're the weakest link, and... Kind of help, you know, be back as fast holding as us I back. Can. Okay, Mzadi. Mzadi. Okay. Ooh, cryogenics. Maybe we go in there. We'll find someone still asleep. Wake them up. Not a reassuring sign. Nope. No. Did they, were they having a fight or something? Obviously, they're trying to keep someone down. Hey, but hey, medical is at least you know open, not blocked off. So that's good. Maybe there is alien life here. Okay, splitting up. Might be quicker that way. Hopefully. Yeah. Sure. So, we're looking for pregabalin, gabapentin, or amitriptyline. Or anything with the words anticonvulsant or narcotic analgesic on it. You're gonna have to just repeat that list if I find something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I know Sarah was quiet about what happened, but Claire was one of her closest friends. I want you to know that. It's fine. Fine. She always kept me at arm's length. We all... Something she finds difficult about. She's been having nightmares. Coming here is bringing back some stuff she's had to work through for a long time. And... Can I be 
be honest with you. Sure. She's afraid of finding your father here. Mm. Oh. I mean, I, I can imagine why after he got really? she got stabbed by him. Yeah. Why did she come on this mission? She could have just stayed back on Earth, right? Sarah cares. A lot. Too much, even. Stopping that woman from doing her duty to save this world is nearly impossible. Right. Oh look, Isaac's doing a speech. I think Isaac's going to do a speech about the project and give everyone their appointed function. That man hasn't even been here for a year and has already spearheaded so much of our progress, it's insane. Are you fangirling over an awkward old engineer? <laughs> I could just admire the guy, right? And I might have had his first papers up on my wall when I was still on MIT. <laughs> you dork. <laughs> well, at least someone likes him. Astro tool? Oops. Saving the planet, about the tech. Okay. Comics. There's 11 comics. Excuse me, Alea. <laughs> Greater than the sum of its parts. Hmm, that seems a bit culty. Okay, I shouldn't have looked down. That, <laughs> that's kind of panic inducing. Yeah, we're like midway there. But damn, that's a long draw. The view outside is still pretty cool, though. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so. Looks like we should be able to find something around here. What is this? Madonna? Marafinal? No, we could probably use that though. You know, take a vial. Just for... You know, just in case and later down the road we need it. I'm sure we're gonna need it. I wonder if it acts as like a steroid. I don't know too much. I actually did work in a pharmacy for a bit. I don't want to be that guy, but are you coming home soon? They won't let us into a later dinner slot if we miss this one. Cave in, cave in at Herschel, a really bad one. We lost M Muner. Megan is an intensive and we just stabilized Pierre. Going into a surgery in 20 minutes. Oh man, sorry I didn't know. Hope Munir will be in a better place. I'm so tired. Habibi, that is completely understandable. You're hitting 15 hours now. Rose is on our 20th now. Even Isaac is here, helping out where he can. I don't know why, but he seems very affected by this situation. After the surgery, we've got replacements taking over. Good. So, see you in a few hours? I'll grab you some food right now, if, if they'll let me. Habibi? We lost Pierre on the way. Well, that sucks. Noted. And I'm pretty sure it's because of that Mark dude, or whatever his name is. I can't remember. North Thesterone. Delay your period by up to 19 days. Ooh. I wonder what the side effects are, of that are. <laughs> but yeah, no, I actually used to work at a pharmacy for a little bit. Um, didn't do anything too important, and I started learning some of what, you know, a couple pills did here and there, but other than that, no. And it's already been a long time to the point where I basically forgot everything I learned. <laughs> I'm sure if I went back, um, I wouldn't even... Rem I just remember how to do the basics, and that's just like filling prescriptions and understanding the uh, um, the doctor's notes a little bit. Even then, still, letter written in a foreign language. Huh. Okay, but yeah, like I said, that was that was some time ago. And it's already been years since I last left that job, and I've already completely forgot everything. <laughs> that I learned. And that's fine. Hey, it's dear old dad. I wonder if this is a locker. No, why would he keep a picture of himself in there? He doesn't seem to be that vain. Okay. Well, it looks like there's no pills here. Nothing in here either. Okay, so let's go on up. Nope. 
Okay, I see something. What's this? A photo? Rose's family photo. Whoa, I never knew Rose's family was so big. They look so happy together. Did Rosa have to leave them all behind on Earth? Yeah, that is a big family. Huh. What's this? Huggins Research Facility. Oh. Hugens? Huggins? I don't know. In memoriam. Huggins Malfunction 2048. Hmm. Did people die during that malfunction? Okay. Oh, this must be the kid's wing. Because why else would they have these decorations? If not for kids. Ah, oh, man. You, now that you think about it, yeah, there, there's got to be some kids that were brought up here. If not, they were born here on Mars. Making them Martians. <laughs> well, that's kind of sad to think about now. Alright, now we just gotta figure out this little puzzle. Okay, nope, too much. We just gotta find the right positioning. Okay, and then... Okay, you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of the... Oop. Of what they do here. How to figure You'll out the puzzle. You'll be escorted back to your chambers. Report to your superiors for the graveyard shift. I'd heard you've gotten Isaac to help you out on this little project. A project I made very clear wasn't going to happen. People need help, William. People need to work. If they spend nights here and off the work rosters, it only halts the progress even more. And Besides, if it hurts to the point where it can't work, then it just hurts everyone. Ah yes, all the pregnant women in the colony. Best leave some beds open to them, rather than real people who need real rehabilitation. But I didn't walk in on rehabilitation, did I? Well, what? What did I walk in on, Rosa? Opposition? This place is collapsing, William. The dust storms are wearing down our walls and roofs. The mutations in Odom speak for themselves. We are cooped up inside on a planet we shouldn't be on. There is no way this will work. We have to return to Earth. These hardships are the cost of evolution and progress. We will push through. After everything that's happened over the past few years, do you seriously think that we're better off here than we were on Earth? Security will be down to put everything back the way it should be in an hour. He's a dick. Thanks for the backup. I'm sorry. I don't understand you, Isaac. You hear the same voices in the hallways. We've put years into this place and it's not working. Not enough space, not enough food, not enough progress. Why are you staying quiet? It's just not that simple. People left their families to come here. You left your family to come here. Isn't it time you saw them again? <sighs> Isaac, wait. I'm sorry. That... I mean, she, she probably hit a nerve there. He's probably thinking that too. He's also probably second-guessing himself, like why he even bothered to leave in the first place. Well, something tells me William and his charm, you know, convinced him to come along. So for all we know, yeah, this was a big mistake. And I kind of want to blame it on William, but who knows? Maybe it was just group effort. Mm. They set up a makeshift prison here and medical of all places. These people were locked up here for all sorts of reasons. Stealing food, violent outbreaks between colonists, sabotage. Huh. So wait, where's the prison then? That doesn't look like prison-y. Remco, look, I know it's not like you had a choice in getting Le Leander back locked up, but he didn't do anything drastic. I don't make the rules, man. Right, but you have to see that this is absolute BS, too. You're a coder. MacArthur's only got you standing guard because you're a big guy. Did you just call me fat? No, you're just, you know, cultivating mass. <laughs> oh my god. 
And I bet the rations aren't cutting it. How are you supposed to cultivate mass on these tiny portions? I can get you two times rations for a month. I'll have one of the packers added to your shipments. Let Leander go and it's yours. Daniel? Bro, come on. I see you're online. Hmm. That is exactly what I'm thinking, Kathy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it looks like things Ryan, are Oh, here we go. I found an entire section MacArthur transformed into a makeshift prison. Jesus. Violence, destruction, stealing. They're all here together. Why would they do this to each other? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe some people didn't feel that way anymore. Maybe. Yeah, it sounds more like Will is, has gone on a little bit of a pirate trip. He obviously doesn't want anyone to oppose him. Even if it is for the, you know, greater good. Because honestly, Rosa has a point. You know, people can't keep working continuously and not have a break. They need a break, because otherwise, they'll just, you know, they'll break themselves. There's a pharmacy here. Find it. Door's locked. But I can hook it up to the stream point to get us in. Great. Do it. Yeah, I don't know. The more and more I learn about Will and what he's doing here, it makes me dislike him very, very much. He doesn't understand. He's, he's lost touch. He doesn't understand that people can't can't work in conditions like this. He's making it far, far difficult than he needs to. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Can I get through here? No. Okay, I need to get through here. Oh, hey! <laughs> uh, I thought you, I left you in the room back there. That's cool. Oh, can't need the laser for it. Oh. Can I open? Damn it. This is a little on the annoying on the side. brought over here Why the hell have these powers streaming in the middle of the hallway? Actually, I wonder how that affects the body. Because, you know, people are saying, like, you know, 5G gives you cancer. <laughs> That's no ordinary ASC button, is it, Ayla? Hmm. How are we supposed to... Up That's pretty handy, Ayla. Got any other tricks up your sleeve? Sleeve? I uh, I think I see some medication here. Maybe it has some of that Praga Benton stuff. Huh? <laughs> Praga Benton. We hit the mother load. This will work. Huh? It's Cody. 
And these are antidepressants. Ooh, I bet you a she lot needs of them. them. Strange. Wasn't living on Mars the dream for these folks? You think, right? But William is making it a nightmare. All right, I think that might be everything we can find here. I'm going to bring these up to Sarah, and then we can figure out a way up. I might have an idea. Can a rock climb that? that? Well, it might be the only way if everything else is blocked. Mm -hmm. You can't go up alone. It's fine, I've climbed worse. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty simple enough, right? Look, I'm the only one that can work the stream point, and you need to go and help Sarah. It's too dangerous. I'll be fine. Come on, Ryan. Be careful. Believe in us. I will. That's a big drop. Now, how are we gonna get over there? Oh, through here. Duh. <laughs> okay, so we don't need this anymore. Question is, how in the world am I gonna? Here we go. There's a hole. So bad. <laughs> These are interesting tables. A little slanted. But I guess that's so they can use that like a drawing pad. That's pretty cool. Why haven't we figured that out in the past? Okay. I gotta stay close. I gotta maybe higher? Nope. Higher? There you are. I mean, about three others have been looking for you. Aren't you a bit too big for that chair? <laughs> these chairs have gone unused for all these years, Isaac. Why is that? A lot of people are fearful of what might happen if they conceive here. We still don't know what complications could arise. Humanity evolves because we adapt, not because we stay inert in the face of adversity. Yeah. If we never try, we'll never know. That's the price we pay. Not everyone's willing to pay that price, though. And it's Do a big a rest, man. On Earth. Yes. What do you need, Isaac? The, the, the dust storm hit Herschel hard. 
Uh, until the damage is repaired, we won't have any alloys to continue the housing project. What about Odom? Uh, we're drafting up a ration plan to see us through the next few months, but uh, it leaked and people are refusing to work. I'll talk to Rosa. This homeward nonsense has gone on long enough. Well, well, why didn't you let her have the psychiatric ward? She could help people. She didn't try to help people. She tried to find weaknesses in the fence. But I'll handle Rosa. He's not very trusting of others. And I'm pretty sure that's becoming his downfall. You know. It's evidence with all the chairs being stacked up that they're definitely we'll trying to keep them separated. Doesn't seem like any of it was used. There's something really haunting about kids' toys in an abandoned place like this. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. That was so much easier compared to the others. <laughs> Excuse me, Leia. Whoo! <laughs> Bit of a rush there. <laughs> oh, there we go. This stuff is made out of. And should we even be puncturing it? <laughs> Oop. Oh, damn it. There we go. Just at the edge there. Alley -oop. You made it! Oh. Don't fall down on me now. Okay. I hope we're getting close. Ooh, that's... A, oh, God. <laughs> that, sends, that sends shivers down my spine. Oh, okay. I was, I was wondering if there was like something over here. But nope. Big jump! Okay. <laughs> oh god. It looked like we weren't gonna make it, but somehow we always seem to manage to pull through. Oh, I guess I gotta get on the other side. Okay. Now, where am I shooting you at? stairs you know they're by themselves they could have just grabbed that stuff and started moving to the side rather than having to do all this I mean yeah sure it would have taken some time but it'd be safer than what we're doing now but again this is just your video game logic you know you gotta have obstacles and puzzles to you know figure it out 
Make it a re as much of it as possible. Oh. Probably shouldn't have interrupted. I'm gonna get some water. Sounds like she's having a bit of a breakdown. You all right? No, she's just crying. Duh. Of course she's not all right. The same type of cryo beds that I was in on the moon. Before she got stabbed? Oh, oh so it's PTSD then. I really tried to fix the MPT with the last bit of helium-3 there was left. Same bit of helium-3 that your dad needed to jumpstart the Ark and bring you here. Uh-huh, uh uh-huh. Uh -huh. He caused a five-year blackout. One man. One choice. It affected everyone. Oh, so that's why she doesn't like him too much. That and you know, never intended to cause thing. a blackout. Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. Plenty of well-intentioned people have single-handedly caused so much destruction. These are facts, yeah. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, that's... that's true. Claire always knew. Just hope you do too. Yeah, just because Claire's been lucky doesn't mean she hasn't made any mistakes in the past. And... Hell, for all you know, not all of those decisions on her are, and she considers them as good. It's all perspective, really. You know what this place could really do with? A mop more up? More barricades. <laughs> that too. They could definitely use more barricades. I like this Ryan dude. <laughs> He's trying to, always trying to make things uh, lighthearted. And I appreciate his effort. This almost feels... Alien? They right? It looks like one hell of a science fiction machine, all right? Yeah. I don't think, I think those panels are held up by strings this. or anything. All right. Let's split up. I'll see if I can crack the main terminal. Ryan, check if we can use that elevator to bypass the stairway. Got it. What do you want me to do? Maybe you can figure out what this thing actually does? Sure as hell is it meant for flight. Does anyone know why this water looks so... Pretty? All right. If I recall from my days in college, I think that's plankton. Plankton? Huh. Yeah, we used to have beaches that would light up the same way at night. Sure. No, yeah. really. We saw it on one of our first trips together, didn't we, honey? Hmm? Yeah, it turns blue when you uh, a bit more enthusiastic about it. Back when now. you run your hand through, or your feet through, or boats, really. It's actually pretty cool. I actually want to go to that area that he's talking about and uh, actually see it first sight, because it is just nothing but plankton, uh, a, a type of uh, a form of plankton that is bioluminescent, and it activates when people, you know, provide kinetic energy. I don't know the whole process of it, if it's like, you know, kinetic energy that makes it bright or the fact that they're disturbed and it makes them kind of, you know, like, you know, light up. <laughs> but it's pretty cool if, you know, if y'all just like Google uh, ocean blue lights, I'm you'll see it. You know, th there's some videos out there of people just running their hands through, boats going through and you see the, the light. It's pretty cool and I really, really want to see that in, in person. Not now, though. I, I can't right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling as is, just trying to, you know, make ends meet. But one of these days, I'll, I, you know, I'll definitely like to to experience that. Ayla, you got a readout on the irradiance. Just like the mirrors. Aurora Borealis. I would this love to I see that, too. 600 watts from a setting sun. That's impressive. <laughs> Already. 
What else can we figure out here? Oh, these are cool. I don't know what these are. Is this waste? Or this just more liquid to pour in there once? I don't know. Maybe it evaporates. So for all we know, this could be fuel. Or again, just waste from, from this. I'm not an engineer. I only play as one. <laughs> Sarah, I think this is the MPT alignment unit for the Ark. We can use it to reconnect with Ark Lagos when we're ready for it. Good. Wow. Is that our son? No, that can't be our son because if it was our son, we'd be it'd be bright red out there. Unless these windows are tinted and make it seem like it's blue outside but I thought it was like just night out all right well I gotta keep exploring although I don't know what to look at this looks like a water pump system I doubt it's a closed it. pipeline that keeps recycling over and over. Oh, that's cool. It's self-sufficient. Let's see, anything up here? Oh, glowing table. Oh, you, you, you're taking care of that. Sarah, can we talk about what you said downstairs? I think that now's not a good time. I need to focus. Okay. Yeah, everyone's everyone wants to do their job. They don't wanna focus about the past at the moment, I'm sure. Hey, where's Ryan? Now that I think about it. Oh, he's over here. I think we're done with this area. There's no way this elevator works. And what makes you so confident? Really? With our track record? <laughs> we'll see about that. The stream receiver is destroyed. Huh. Till we reconnect Ark Labos. It's not going anywhere. Then I'm afraid the Panopticon will have to wait. Panopticon. Hey, honey? Panopticon, isn't that a, a term for something like a, a central overlook tower? Hmm? <sighs> Never mind. I'm in. Come check it out. This thing still looks pretty cool, though. It may look alien, but I'm pretty sure this is If I understand the OS, I should get some analytical data if I press this. Are you guys reading what I'm reading? This machine completely converts atmospheric input into the chemical compound of Earth. Conversion efficiency is close to lossless. Damn, okay. This might be our mother load. I mean, this technology could restore Earth's atmosphere. We could heal our planet. Well, Earth could definitely use a couple of these oversized bad boys. <laughs> That's doable. <laughs> Increased oxygen signature. Could that mean? There's someone on the People. ship. Well, then we should go and check it out right away. We need to finish our assessment because. But we're losing precious time. For what? We're trying to look we'll for Dad. Duh. Happened. Shouldn't one of us scout ahead? If there are colonists still alive, we have no idea how they'll react to our presence. We need to be prepared. Agreed. Things haven't exactly looked peachy so far. If I could uh -huh. just take the rover, get to the facility, we can use that Kathy. information. We're going over there tomorrow as a team, prepared. It's an order. Sarah's right, Cat. We need to get some rest after everything. After everything. There's a room in the medical wing with some beds. I'll take first watch. You two get some sleep. 
In other words, Kathy, stay put. Although, knowing Kathy, she's gonna be reckless and go on her own. Or maybe not, she actually did go to sleep. Sarah, Sarah. Wake up. Why the hell did we bring those things with us? What? You know what I'm talking about? The case. The outside. Yeah, that's an outside conversation. Don't have that in conversation here with us. Because now we're suspicious. And what case are they talking about? <laughs> Alea sleeps too. That's adorable. Yeah, come on. Then again, it's just probably power safe mode. There's a good explanation for this. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Please, just get in here. Please. Ayla, you've got to get in there somehow. Be very, very sneaky. <laughs> Just like in the beginning, though. We're gonna be snooping through Alea. You're not listening to me. I'm not sure I want to. We had to have some sort of strategy. Oh, it would be nice to know in advance that this was gonna be it. Okay, only me and Maria knew. We didn't want to alarm anyone. Oh, so when, when would I find out? As soon as you want me to shoot someone's face off? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I was gonna tell you, I just... I had to make sure that Kathy wouldn't find out. Sorry, please. No, 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 no. This is not an Amzadi moment. What do you think is gonna happen if we find any of the Lunar Council alive? You think they're just gonna come along peacefully? Probably not. But that's why Maria wanted Kathy here to begin with, isn't it? To at least get Isaac to come peacefully. Yeah. Plan A. This is plan B. It's not gonna work out. This is this was a bad I know, idea. It's a drastic plan B, and I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. Please, please don't tell Kathy. I don't want you. He's not going to. What do you know? You should get some rest. the nick of time. Yep. And now we're going to do something drastic. Alrighty. Well, that's the end for that chapter. <laughs> so things are really picking up now. Oh. I'm sorry, Sarah, but you're hurt, and Ryan's the only one that can help. I just thought it best you to... You disobeyed my orders. We're on a mission. Kathy, that, that's not how this works. You're putting yourself and the mission at risk. I'm your commander now. Do, do you understand? Oh, are you going to pull do a gun on me? understand, Kathy? Yes, I copy. Going out on your own is completely reckless. You've taken the only functional rover, so if anything happens, you'll be on your own. You're right. If you see any signs of life, come right back. Okay? I will. Be safe and stay in touch. Okay, so, as I was saying, uh, I'm going to leave it off right here. We made some good progress. Trying a lot about what the hell is going on here, or at least what the intention was of this mission. Um, this wasn't just any regular, let's get our ships back. No, this is a capture their ass and bring them back to Earth so they can stand trial. Which, they'll probably just face execution. Or, actually, no, they probably won't face execution. They'll just make them work and bring that technology back on Earth. Because that, <laughs> that engine, plankton engine, 
it's like peak technology for them i'm sure isaac is a smart man they knew that from the very beginning william knew that from the very beginning i'm pretty sure that's why he can you know he did his best to convince him to come along with him otherwise I don't think uh, he would have gone, but maybe he would have. I feel like, you know, Isaac still wanted to leave planet Earth thinking that it'd be better on Mars. Who's to say? We'll find out. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, and you have a wonderful day. Or night. Or day. I don't know. Do something wonderful with your life.